Hey guys, welcome to the Crypto Miner Bros YouTube channel. This is a specific how-to video on how to set up a new Bitmain Antminer S21 Plus. This is specifically the 235 terahash model, but there's also like a 216 terahash model, 226 or 225 terahash model different models out there and they're gonna have varying hash rates but the setup is really all the same so thank you to cryptominerbros.com for this video if you guys are interested in this ASIC or any other ASICs visit cryptominerbros.com and use code redpanda for $70 off okay so let's begin with how we are going to set this s21 plus up now before you actually buy a big boy ASIC like this you're gonna have to understand mining with one of these things at home as a residential miner is gonna depend on if you have have the infrastructure and if you have the power and the environment okay so the biggest one is you're gonna need at least a like a 30 amp 240 volt circuit to run one of these miners okay so make sure you have a certified electrician that's gonna run a 30 amp circuit or a, maybe a single 20 amp for one of these you can maybe run actually no you can't run two Bitcoin a6 on one 30 amp because this is actually gonna be pulling between 36 to 4,000 watts and you're gonna need a 240 volt 30 amp PDU hooked up to your circuit as well to run something like this because this thing is going to be pulling a lot of power. So if you're going to be doing this at home, make sure you have your electrical setup all set up before you purchase one of these things. Also, an area that you're going to be mining with this because it's going to produce, you know, between 35 to 4,000 watts of heat, okay? So you're going to have like a maybe a a basement or a garage that you're gonna retrofit a exhaust fan in. You know, you're gonna have a metal shelf, you're gonna have internet, you gotta have uh, also your infrastructure, like I said, the power infrastructure all run to where you're gonna be wanting to mine Bitcoin with that S21 Plus. So make sure you have the area, the power, also the internet run, which all these types of miners are gonna be needing hardwire internet to mine Bitcoin. Okay, so once you confidently have a lot of that all set up, you are gonna receive your S21 Plus in a Bitmain box, just like this. And once you open it up, it's gonna be nicely padded and a, also in an anti-static bag, okay? So once you take it out and you have it in your desired location to mine, you're gonna wanna plug in the ethernet cable, all right? So that's gonna be the next step, okay? This, this is gonna be hardwire internet. These do not have Wi-Fi capability, okay? I mean, there are adapters and devices I've seen out there that you can do uh, like USB ethernet or ethernet over power line. I've seen some people do that. But anyways, make sure you have your uh, network infrastructure set up uh, for Bitcoin mining. Then next up, we're gonna plug in the power. So this is gonna come with the, uh, the P13 uh, to, to P14 and then a C19 to C20. This, is, this end's gonna plug into the uh, PDU, which I have right there, okay? So let's plug in the P13 side into the ASIC first. Uh, that's what I like to do first before you plug it into the PDU. Okay, so we're gonna plug it in just a snap just like that and then now we're gonna plug in this end the other end into my PDU which is right here okay so we're gonna plug it in like so make sure you match it up and it's going to turn on right away there is no power switch or anything it's automatically gonna turn on once you plug it in and it's gonna be very loud Depending on your environment, it may be loud. It just depends on the fan speed, but generally it's pretty loud. Goes with the, you know, environment factor. If you're gonna have one of these, you gotta make sure you can handle the sound if it's in your house. If you're having it hosted, then you don't need to worry. Okay, so next step, once it's all on, you're gonna need to configure the mining pool and put in your wallet and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna go in the computer right now. Let's set it up. Okay, so we are in the computer and I'm using a free software called Advanced IP Scanner. It's just scanning my local network that's on the same computer as this uh, Antminer S21 is. Alternatively, you can log into your own router and you can probably see the DHCP reservations that way. You can see uh, which computers have an IP address and the host name for this one is going to be Antminer. All right, for this S21, so you should see that. So we're gonna grab the IP address, then you're gonna go to a web browser, and you're gonna type it in to the top address bar, 10100, uh, for me it's 10100.100.232. All right, my username, it's, uh, it's gonna be root and root. All right, that's the default username and password to log in, okay? Once you do that, 
you're going to be presented with the web GUI of the S21 Plus. So next step is to go to settings, okay, on the top left tab here. And this is where you're going to put in your pool address and also your miner name and also password, which is optional. So there are many different Bitcoin mining pools out there. Majority of them, if not all of them, require an account to make to make in order to uh, associate your uh, miner name, okay, to your account. All right. So, for example, I'm going to be using Via BTC for this example. I'm not saying this is the best pool. I mean, they're all generally the same. So, I've already made an account on Via BTC here. And you guys will have to do it the same, okay? Just make your account, log in with your email and such. Then once you're in your dashboard, you're gonna go to pool, okay? And then under BTC, okay? Or you can do BCH if you want, but under BTC here, under the dashboard, okay? Then you're gonna wanna go scroll down to get the Stratum URL, all right? So this is where we're gonna hit this copy button, okay? Then we're gonna go back to the app miner web page portal here, and we're just gonna paste that in. Okay, so I've already done that already. And there's gonna be backup stratums as well. Okay, so make sure or whichever pool you use, there's gonna be probably two or three other ports that you can also input into just as a backup pool. There's pool two and pool three. All right, best practice is actually to you utilize another mining pool than your main one. So for me, if I'm using via BTC as my number one here, you could use, let's say, Spiderpool or Luxor.tech as your secondary and third pool, just in case your main pool goes down, okay? So yeah, there's always a chance that a mining pool can go down for some, for some reason, power outage, DDoS, what have you. So now, once you have the pools are in, you're gonna input the miner name. So for me, my account name on via BTC is RPM2023. So that's gonna be my miner name, 20, RPM2023. And then I put a period here to distinguish the worker name. So I put period and then the worker name. So if we go to via BTC here, go to workers, workers tab, you can actually see I have a bunch of other Bitcoin miners on here, okay? So once we get this mining, all right, uh, we have to hit save. Okay, so make sure you do that on pool number two and three as well for your worker names. Uh, again, if, you're, if it's on a different uh, mining pool, you're, it's going to be a different name, okay, unless you made it the same account name. Okay, so make sure you have all that in. And for password, I, I just like doing X, but it's optional. You don't have to put any password. Then make sure the mode is on normal. Some models have maybe high performance mode or low power mode, so choose accordingly. I had mine on sleep because I'm, I was just testing it. But anyways, make sure it's on normal. Then we're going to click save. Okay, and it's going to start mining and you're probably going to start hearing it. So let's go back out. Okay, so there's the S21 Plus. It's starting to mine now. It's going to be pulling a lot of power and it's going to get very loud as well. So uh, there you guys go. Let's, uh, let's just do a sound test here for anyone that's curious. Yeah, yeah, like 80 to 90 decibels. Pretty loud, pretty loud. Okay guys, that pretty much sums it all up. And yeah, the power is gonna fluctuate. It's probably doing some initial pre-initializing and depending on your ambient temperature, it may use more power. If you have colder temperatures, it's obviously gonna use much less. So that's something to be mindful of as well. That's why hence, you know, you need a location, uh, exhaust fan to take out all the heat because this is going to produce a lot of heat. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Again, check out CryptoMinerBros.com if you're interested in an S21 Plus or any other Bitcoin miner or any other ASICs that they have on their website. Use code REDPANDA for 70 bucks off. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out. Peace out.